Okay, what's up guys? Today's a bit of a special day. I'm taking a look at a custom-built, custom-designed, uh, 3D-printed Legends class Perceptor. Now, this is my take on the character. I actually designed all of these pieces and had them 3D printed from my home 3D printer. So we're going to take a look at him real quick. We're going to take a look at his accessories. He uh, designed this gun. Got as close to the original G1 gun that I could. And it's got a few rough spots on it, but I did okay. Alright, so figure himself. And I guess for accessories, you could also say this little piece. Because that's his little shoulder scope or whatever. But. Alright, so let's get that a bit. There we go. Better focused. Alright, so articulation wise, he's got ball joint shoulders. He's got ball joint elbows. Uh, just going to take off the scope to get a better look at the head. And the paint is not great because I'm not the world's best painter, but I tried. But the head can look left and right. It can look a little bit up because of the transformation. It's a pegged in ball joint. So there you go. The arms can go up to here. They can do the full 360 rotation. We've got elbows that get you 360 rotation. We've got hip swivels that go to about there. I'm not confident enough to do a 360 rotation, but pretty decent. Uh, as far as the thighs are concerned, we've got out to here and we've got out to there. So good range in the thighs there. Does have a, a knee at 90 degrees does have an upper thigh swivel and the feet are on a ball joint in there so it does get you just a slight bit of an ankle rocker but it's more for the transformation and that much down so speaking of the transformation we're going to go ahead and transform him by flipping in the f oh uh, before we do transform transformation let's get into a size comparison so just so you, you get an idea how big this guy is or how small rather all right so we'll do that We'll put the scope on him, get the full effect. There we go. And we'll bring in Iron Factory Rush Beats. So he's just just slightly taller than Iron Factory Rush Beats. And we'll bring in Robot Masters Optimus Prime, so you can see there. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's a pretty decent scale, honestly. <coughs> I think that's a pretty nice scale. And with his articulation, you can get him into some pretty dynamic poses. I'm not going to get into that just to save a little time, but he does get into some pretty decent poses. Um, the legs can't hold him up sturdy enough with, you know, a little bit of uh, manipulation and patience. And he can, yeah. All right. So getting into the transformation, let's go ahead and pop that off. Turn the head 180, push down. Take the scope, plug it into the back of the head, flip out this, point the scope down, turn in the hands, straighten out the arms, and point them all the way up. All right. Then for the legs, we're going to go all the way forward, all the, or about 90 degrees side, twist at the upper thigh, bend the knee here, twist again there, and put the foot all the way down. Same on the other side, here, here, twist rotate, twist, and push down. All right, and there is his microscope mode. <clears throat> now, it's not perfect, but I think it's a pretty decent little microscope mode, and the the scope does barely hit the top of the tray, but, you know, are you, are you going to really, are you really going to use him in lab work? I mean, come on. So there you go. All right, uh, the gun can peg onto the back here for weapon storage. Just put that in there just because. But, yeah, he does have weapon storage there. All right, so there's the microscope mode. Now, if you're asking if he does have a tank mode, uh, uh, kind of. He wasn't really designed to have a tank mode, but sort of. So <clears throat> we'll flip up the tray, rotate these to about here, bend the arms down this way, take off the scope, and peg it into the back, get the head just slightly out of the way, peg the scope 
into the back. Let me see. There we go. There it goes. All right. There and kind of a tank mode. A little. I mean, it's it's stretching, but you know, weren't the other tank modes stretching anyway? I mean, come on. Who are we kidding? <clears throat> and there you go. No, the treads do not actually roll. He doesn't have wheels under there or anything, but there you go. So, all right. That is my self-designed Perceptor that I had 3D printed. Um, I might put this on Thingverse or somewhere similar. Let me know if you guys would want to copy. Uh, I'd be happy to put it up there for people to download download the STL files and print yourself out your own copy of this guy. Let me know if you want me to do that. I'll see what I can do. But, uh, yeah, I designed this guy myself, all the pieces. It's not perfect, but, you know, it's a pretty cool Legends class Perceptor. I think uh, some other third-party companies have Legends class Perceptor, but they're a little bit large. But uh, I kind of like this one. I kind of like how he fits in size-wise with the, the standard Legends class stuff. So again, if you want those STL files, let me know and I'll try to put it up somewhere and I'll, I'll come back and leave a link down to where you can download it in the, uh, in the summary section or whatever. But there he is. There is my 3D printed Perceptor. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.